There's an old, old house still standing that Delaware has great affection for. It was built on the old king's highway fifty years before the war. This old house got its fine foundation way back in 1723. It has played host to old George Washington, Mad Anthony, and Light Horse Lee. Well, it's an old house, but a good one. It stands where Naaman's meets the pike. Oh, yes, the Robinson house will fill you both with wonder and delight. Johann Yates was the first builder, then Colonel Robinson added on. And with history they have filled her, that's why her legacy still lingers on. On its grounds there stands a blockhouse, with a spring house there as well. And there once was a mill at the foot of the hill, on Damon's Creek as far as we can tell. Well, it's an old house, but a good one. It stands where Naaman's meets the pike. Oh, yes, the Robinson house will fill you both with wonder and delight. At the turn of the twentieth century, it was an artist colony true. Our students of Pyle lived there for a while, including W. D. Kerner too. For a while it was the Naaman's Tea House, from 1914 to 64. It catered to the whole community, till it was forced to close its door. Well, it's an old house, but a good one. It stands where Naaman's meets the pike. Oh, yes, the Robinson house will fill you both with wonder and delight. For thirty years it has been the questers who have nurtured it with care. They furnished it, and they burnished it, but alas, they are no longer there. Now the house has been taken over by two societies. The Darley and the Claimant Historical are the keepers of those cherished keys. Well, it's an old house, but a good one. It stands where Naaman's meets the pike. Oh, yes, the Robinson house will fill you both with wonder and delight.